The Prime Minister has distanced herself from Labor's bitter public brawl over its preferencing deals with the Greens. Party factions put their differences aside today to give their leader a rousing welcome at Labor's New South Wales conference. Julia Gillard told the party faithful she's in for a long fight and set the scene for a fresh election battle on industrial relations. Nada Gilmore reports. What a difference a day makes. Brawling and insults replaced with thunderous applause and a rallying message. Tony Abbott got it right when he told his party room she won't lie down and die. Too right I won't. She came armed with a list of Labor's achievements, promises and cash, including a hefty top-up to help fund a pay rise for community sector workers. I can't commit to $1 billion more for these workers' pay. Julia Gillard didn't buy into the factional fight which has dominated Labor's New South Wales conference over a motion to stop automatic preferencing of the Greens. It passed yesterday, prompting a please explain from the opposition. The Prime Minister can't have it both ways. Uh, she can't be uh, in alliance with the Greens in Canberra uh, and breaking with the Greens everywhere else. It's been a stinging debate. Senior Labor figures have accused the Greens of inconsistency, extremism and economic vandalism. It was healthy for us to just be drawing some very clear markers and get back to a clear position of we have our identity as a party. The Greens leader sees it differently. The disease in New South Wales has destroyed Labor in New South Wales. Let's make sure it doesn't destroy the body politic across the country. Christine Milne has dismissed the New South Wales preferencing decision as nothing more than an ugly spectacle. The Prime Minister got above the brawling boys of New South Wales, chose to ignore all that. Julia Gillard did manage some fighting words, though. She used her speech to set the scene for a fresh battle on industrial relations. She seized on Tony Abbott's suggestion last week that individual workplace arrangements need to be more flexible. The Prime Minister says that means removing penalties and protections. So the fight's on, and we will fight it, and we will win it. The public are not concerned about industrial relations. Unless Labor has its way. Nada Gilmore, ABC News, Canberra.